Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fishkeeping. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at seven super active aquarium fish that you can get for your tank just to spice things up a little bit. So basically all seven of these fish are super fast moving. So they're the perfect addition into any aquarium that's like sort of boring, I guess. Say you have like maybe bristle nose or cherry shrimp and you wanna just add something a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I guess without any further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video with the first fish on our list. So for today's video, we're actually gonna like list them from the worst to the best. Although seven isn't really the worst, but it's just like the worst on the list, I guess. So in seventh place today, we have a super colorful aquarium fish. We have African cichlids. So obviously there are two main types of African cichlids. There's Tanganyikan cichlids and there's Lake Malawi cichlids. And the ones I'm mainly gonna be talking about are Lake Malawi just because they're a little bit more active in my opinion. Because these guys are relatively aggressive, you can't really keep them with too many other tank mates. So you will most likely need a species only tank. But obviously they're super active, so they're a really interesting fish to have. And they'll always be sifting through the sand or moving rocks or just swimming around in your aquarium. They never really like sit still, I guess. So that obviously makes them a great fish for any sort of active aquarium. The only downside to these guys is, like I said before, they're very aggressive, so you can't keep them with much. And they also prefer a really high pH, which a lot of other fish don't. So as for water parameters for these guys, they like a temperature of around 23 to 29 degrees Celsius, which is around 74 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And then as for pH, anything from around eight to nine is their preferred pH. So obviously that's super high and, and not many other fish would thrive in those parameters. The only tank mates I'd say could work with them are things like large plecos, like self and plecos and Cynodontis catfish, which are just like a really cool little catfish. There definitely is other tank mates out there, but those are probably the two main ones in my opinion. But yeah, with that said, if you are looking for a nice active aquarium fish, I would highly recommend African cichlids. So moving on to sixth place on our list, we actually have a live bearing fish. We have endless. So live berries in general are like super active little fish, but I do find that endless are a lot more active than the others. Just because endless fins aren't really as big or as long, so they can swim around a lot quicker and a lot easier. Whereas things like guppies have really long tails, pectoral fins, and dorsal fins, so it makes it super hard for them to move around in your water. So I have a tank behind me with endless, and they are like super active little fish. They're always swimming around, darting around against the glass and always looking for food. So one of the great things about endlers is obviously they come in a variety of colors, but they're also super peaceful fish. So these are actually one of the only fast moving fish on our list that can go with cherry shrimp. And if I'm being honest, cherry shrimp are a little bit boring every now and then just because they sort of just sit there and they don't really do much. They're super cool, but they don't really do much. So I definitely think endless are a great addition just to spice up things in your shrimp tanks. So as for water parameters for your endless, you're gonna want a temperature of around 22 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is around 72 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And then as for the pH, it should be anywhere between 6.5 to eight. A lot of the time for live berries, you're gonna want a higher pH, so around that seven to eight, but they can definitely tolerate lower pHs as well. And I'd actually probably say that endless are the hardiest live bearer out there just because they haven't been as like lime bread and things like that. So they're a relatively healthy strain of fish. So as for tank mates for these guys, obviously they can go with cherry shrimp, like I said before, but they can also go with pretty much any small tropical fish. So they can go with rasboras, tetras, barbs, catfish they can practically go with anything that's around the same size as them and they're not a very aggressive fish either so they're not going to really pick at like fins or things like that and then as for diet i'd probably recommend feeding them like either a small dry food or live baby brine shrimp i usually feed mine a lot of live baby brine shrimp just to fatten them up a bit and get them breeding but yeah with that said if you are looking for an active fish for your aquarium i would definitely recommend endless moving on to the next fish on our list we actually have an australian native we have blue eyes so blue eyes are a super cool fish not only are they a fast moving fish but they come in a variety of colors sizes and they can also tolerate all sorts of water parameters so i've got a few pacific blue eyes in my collection i keep them outdoors just because like they can thrive outdoors where I live, so there's no point keeping them inside. So these guys are obviously very similar to blue eyes, and in the morning, they'll actually show off to the females and try and spawn with them. 
So if you wake up early and watch your tank, you'll often see these guys darting around in and out of plants and stuff and just showing off to the females. So they are definitely a very active fish to have in your aquarium. And like I said before, they can tolerate a really wide variety of water parameters. So as for the water parameters, I prefer to keep mine in. I usually try and aim within about 18 to 28 degrees Celsius, which is around 62 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And then as for the pH, anything between 6 to 7.5 should do for these guys. Obviously in the wild, they come from very tannic water. I've actually caught these guys before and they were in some super tannic water, which had a really low pH. So they can thrive quite well in all sorts of pHs. As for tank mates for these guys, all sorts of small tropical fish. So they could go with things like your endlers, tetras, barbs, rasboras, all sorts of catfish. And obviously they can go with all sorts of Australian native fish like rainbow fish or small gudgeons. But yeah, with that being said, blue eyes are another super fast moving aquarium fish and definitely a great fish for an active tank. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we actually have a catfish. We have Corydoras catfish. So Corys are obviously a super cool little catfish. They don't get very big and they are super active. You'll always see these guys swimming along your substrate trying to find a bite to eat. And they're actually super beneficial to have in your aquarium as well. So these guys will actually go around and pick up any of the leftover food that your other aquarium fish don't eat. So not only are they super active and super useful to keep in your aquarium, but they're also extremely peaceful and they're one of the greatest community fish that you can actually get. So these guys can literally go with any tropical fish. The only fish I wouldn't recommend to keep them with are things like African cichlids or like massive fish. But as for tropical fish, they can go with anything from angelfish to autosynclus catfish. And if you have a pygmy corridor species like napo corys or just your normal pygmy corys, you may actually be able to get away with keeping them with cherry shrimp. So they are a super versatile aquarium fish and they can go in a variety of different tank styles and setups. As for water parameters for these guys, they do like a temperature of around 22 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is obviously around 72 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And your pH should be anywhere between 6.5 to 7.5. So Corydoras catfish are obviously a lot of the time sold as like a cleaner fish. So I do think a lot of people get them and think that they can just like keep them in your aquarium and they don't need food, which is obviously false. They do need their own special diet. Obviously they will go around and pick up little scraps from your other fish, but they do need some sort of specialized diet like cory pellets or algae wafers. But with that being said, Corydoras catfish are another super active aquarium fish and I would highly recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have another Australian native fish. We have rainbow fish. So rainbow fish are another schooling fish, super similar to blue eyes, but obviously they're a lot bigger than blue eyes are. And these guys come in a variety of colors and sizes. You can get smaller ones like these rads behind me. You can get larger ones like Bosemani rainbow fish. So there literally is a rainbow fish for everyone out there. So these guys are exactly like the blue eyes. If you come out in the morning, they will be showing off trying to spawn with females and they're a super cool fish to watch when they're doing that just because they put on some super cool colors and do all sorts of nice little mating dances. So much like the blue eyes as well, they can withstand a wide variety of temperatures. And here where I live, rads and crimson spotted rainbows go down to temperatures of about, I think like seven degrees Celsius. So they're definitely very hardy. As for water parameters for these guys, again, you're gonna want a temperature of around 18 to 28 degrees Celsius, which is around 65 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH of around six to 7.5. Once again, I keep a lot of these guys outside in my outdoor tubs and they thrive all year round. I never have to bring them in and they do super well. But yeah, if you do have a little bit bigger of an aquarium and you are looking for a fast moving aquarium fish, I would definitely recommend rainbow fish. So as for the next fast moving aquarium fish on our list today, we have our first tetra on the list. We have rummy nose tetras. So in my opinion, rummy nose and cardinal tetras are by far the fastest moving aquarium fish. I definitely think they're a lot faster than neon tetras and like other tetras. But yeah, rummy nose are another super cool fish, very similar to endlers. So they're super colorful and they are a super peaceful fish. So they can obviously go with other tetras. They can go with endlers, barbs, danios, 
Corydorus catfish, bristlenose, any sort of tropical fish like that. And they're actually a super great dither fish as well. So if you're ever trying to breed like some sort of dwarf cichlids, say ram cichlids, and you want to add a dither fish in there just to help them breed a little bit, then rummy nose are definitely a great fish for that. As for water parameters for your rummy nose tetras, you're gonna want a temperature of around 23 to 29 degrees Celsius, which is around 74 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And they can go in a pH anywhere between 5.5 to 7. And if you have a blackwater aquarium, rummy nose tetras are a great addition into that as well. But with that said, if you are looking for an active aquarium fish, I would highly recommend rummy nose tetras. Moving on to the final fish on our list with the number one spot for the fastest moving aquarium fish, in my opinion, we have Danios. So I've got a lot of Danios behind me in these tanks. I've got long fin Danios and short fin Danios, and they are both by far the most active aquarium fish I own. Even if I come out here in the middle of the night, which I'm not gonna lie, I never really do, but if I did, I turn on these lights and they're still swimming. Somehow, I don't know what, I don't know if they sleep or if they just swim. But yeah, they are just a super active little fish and they're really interesting fish to throw into like a bland, boring aquarium. So the only thing with these guys is they can be a little bit nippy and the short fin variants are like extremely nippy. So you don't wanna be keeping them with like long fin fish or guppies or things like that just because they're obviously gonna nip at their fins. But if you do get the long fin denios, I do find the long fins slow them down a bit. So they're not gonna be as nippy as the short fins. And in my opinion, nothing beats a long fin leopard denio. They are by far my favorite aquarium fish. I don't know why, they sort of just look like a little trout and they're a really cool little fish and are by far one of the best beginner fish out there as well. So as for water parameters for these guys, I keep mine unheated, but the water stays relatively warm in here because I do have a lot of heaters in other tanks. But generally speaking, you're gonna want a temperature of around 22 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is around 72 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're also gonna want a pH of around 6.5 to eight. So Danios are super hardy. It really doesn't matter what water parameters you have them in, they will most likely thrive. And then as for tank mates, like I said before, you can keep them with tetra barbs, catfish, all sorts of other fish like that. But yeah, with that said, the Danio is definitely by far the most active aquarium fish that you can get for your tank. So that is gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I helped you guys find a brand new fish to liven up your tank a little bit. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, smash the like button and comment your thoughts on today's video. I always love going down there and reading them all and I reply back to every comment I get. Also, if you are interested in any of my fish, botanicals or other aquarium products, including these Danios behind me here, make sure to go down and click the link in my description to my website. But yeah, enough of all of that. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in that next video. Mm -hmm.